Right then boys, so welcome to a new video. Now today is going to be quite different. I've not seen very many people at all do this to their car. Um, I've seen like a picture of like one person do this. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, so I wanted to give it a go. Basically what we're doing today is changing the wing mirrors and on the Focus ST225, which is the wing mirror that we're going to be using today, they look to me the exactly the same shape as our Fiesta ST ones um, and they also have a little indicator bit let me just grab one one of these in there um, and this is the mirror cap with this kind of cut out on the edge here and then that's where the indicator part comes in it's not just a straight swap um, I'm pretty sure what you've got to do is use the kind of plastics and the internals from the focus mirror and then you've got to change them and put them onto your Fiesta mirror. Um, I think I'm probably going to need to do some wiring as well to get the indicators to work. I might try and wire them up to the side repeaters down in the wing, in the side wing. Um, but we've made a little start already. I've kind of taken this focus mirror like completely apart which is what you need to do um, I had no idea how to do this there's no tutorials or there's not a lot of write-ups or anything on online about it so I kind of came in blind and um, I've now got a rough idea of what you need to do um, I just wanted to make a little start before I started filming and um, just have an idea so I'm gonna quickly show you my mirror at the moment I've just taken the backing off Roughly what you've got to do, here's the focus one, already all taken apart. And then I'll show you in depth on the passenger side mirror. Right then boys, so I've worked out that the Focus wing mirror, like the plastics, they won't actually fit on the Fiesta like mirror base. Um, so what I've got to do, um, I'm going to leave it overnight, carry on tomorrow, but what I've got to do overnight, I'm going to drill out a small hole in the Fiesta back in plastics um, to allow for enough hot, like a gap for the indicator housing from the focus mirrors to fit onto the Fiesta plastics, if that makes sense. I'll show you later um, when I actually do it, but what I've got to do now is take off the passenger side, get them plastics off, like the housing for the mirror, take that off the passenger side, and then I'll figure it out later on in the house. Right then boys, so it's, uh, we're going to work on these overnight and we're going to crack on with fitting these tomorrow back on the car. So as you can see this is the focus wing mirror. There is a gap here where this slots into like so. That then put this on the Fiesta one. Here's the Fiesta one. The Fiesta one is the only one that fits back onto the mirror. Um, so I did actually try the Focus one, but it didn't fit, so it's got to be the Fiesta one. But as you can see, there isn't a gap there. So I need to do some drilling. I've got a drill just behind me. I'm going to try and just cut out, drill a few holes to make a, a hole here, so this actually sits nice and flush. So we're going to crack on with this now. Make this sit in there nice and flush. Might need to like glue it or seal it in place or something like that. Now I will just say this definitely isn't going to be the neatest job ever but it really don't matter because you're not going to be able to see it so I think we're going to have to get rid of this uh, this screwing point here because it's just in the way where one of the screws goes but we'll see how it looks when we got rid of it
And there we go boys, that's pretty much spot on. Now boys, that ain't too shabby. does just need to be held down a little bit, just like that. So I might just whack a little bit of tiger seal on the underneath in here. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks decent. So that's one done. We'll now move on to the other. Right, so I've just actually cut off the indicator wires. What I'm gonna do is add some more wire to these to make them a lot longer so I can actually feed these all the way down to the wing and the side repeater um, to get power for the indicator. I've just actually put in these auto beam performance bulbs for the indicator and they do look pretty sick. But I've just got a battery here and they're like super bright. Super, super bright. But yeah, got them. What I'm gonna do, is just cut off a couple of lengths of this and this um, and just solder long lengths of wire to these and then with that wire I can literally just find a power source for these indicators and wire them up tomorrow. Right then boys, so it's the next day, we're back at the car um, I just chucked some plastic bags over the wing mirrors last night just to keep them dry because there was um, four a little bit of rain but we've got the wing mirrors sorted now. So I cut the little hole in here for the um, indicator housing to fit. That fits in there nicely now. I just put a little bit of tiger seal on it to hold it um, so it just sits flush and it's not going to move. Peace of mind really. Um, they do look pretty nice actually. I like them. Um, but now what we've got to do is basically reassemble the wing mirrors put the caps back on and then we've got to sort the wiring out. Last night I soldered, um, this was the indicator bit, um, I just soldered two long wires to it. I've got quite a lot of wire here so I should have enough to wire it up to the um, side repeater on the wing. Right then boys, so I was having a big, big trouble trying to get the uh, indicator wires through this little part here, which then feeds it down through here. Now what I've done, I've managed to feed a bit of spare wire that I had up through here. It's come out the top here, and now I've just put a load of electrical tape holding the indicator wires to this spare bit of wire. And what I'm gonna try and do is pull it back through so it kind of like locates it, feeds it through the channel um, and then hopefully it will come out this side which is what we need. So I'm going to give that a go now and see if that will work. Yes boys, we got it through. Get in there. Right, well at least we got the uh, wires through anyway. It's a bit of a, a bit of a relief. What we'll do now, whack the mirror back on and feed the wires through. Right, so I've just checked that the uh, motor actually works and that all moves perfectly fine how it should. We're gonna now put the mirror back on. So remember, black was at the top, these two little wires for the heated glass.
Right, mirrors clip back on. Up, down, left, and right. Sweet. So that mirror is all perfectly put back together. Just got to sort out the wiring now, which I think I'll just leave for now. We'll get the other one sorted, the other mirror sorted, and then we'll have a look at getting the wiring sorted. Right, so as you can see, I've screwed in the mechanism which moves the whole mirror. Um, I've now taken the mirror off. Now what I've got to do is, what I've done last time, feed up a bit of wire up through here, pull it up through here, this is where it all goes through. Um, and then when the wire comes out here, attach both of these wires to it, and then pull it back through. It is a little bit difficult and it does take a little bit of time but you just got to be patient um, and then when these wires are through here I'll literally bolt the mirror back onto the car add the mirror on the front there and then we'll sort out the wiring afterwards the mirrors back on mirror caps back on the only thing is that the um, indicator housing has lifted slightly I'm not entirely sure why it does push back down like flush with it um, but I think we might have to try and sort that out somehow but it's just starting to rain so I'm going to bolt this back on and then we'll uh, crack on with the wiring right then boys so as you can see this mirror's all done just got to sort out the wiring that's pretty cool I like that and then come around here this one's all done as well all bolted up just got to sort the wiring out again um, only thing is with this one, the fitment isn't the best. The, it looks like the Tiger Seal's just unstuck itself and that should just be like pushed in a little bit more. But yeah, we can sort that out. It's only a little fitment issue, but it's kind of starting to rain and spit a little bit, but I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. So we're going to start on the driver's side and see if we can get it all wired up. Right, so we've got the wires coming down through here. I'm gonna um, put them just behind the door sill, feed them down through here somewhere, probably down under here. And then we've gotta feed them into the side wing. We gotta feed them down through here. And then there's just like a foamy thing, which we can probably just move slightly, which it looks like we can. And then if I just grab the wires there, I'll tap into these and then that'll be our power for this bad boy. Right, so as you can see, I've managed to feed the wires down through the door, just around this little crack here, and I've fed them through there. So now what we're gonna do is just tap into these wires here from the side repeater, and then just hide all the wires, put this foam bit back, and then that should be that powered. Right then, so I've just finished the wiring, I've just flicked the hazards on, and as you can see, we've got power. Yes, boys. So we've got one working. Now we'll have to go around to the other side and start wiring up the other one. So wiring's all done. Just gonna press the hazards, see what happens. Oh yes, boys. So we've got them both working. There's that one, come around to the other side, there's that one, oh yes boys that looks sick, that looks pretty awesome boys. But yeah boys, that is how you put the focus wing mirrors with the indicators 
on the Fiesta. Um, this is the first ever video that's been made about it. I ain't seen anyone else do it. I've just seen like one little write up online um, and that was only kind of brief as well. So this is showing that you boys have to do it. Um, I hope you like it. But I'm gonna leave the video here. I hope you like it and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers boys.